Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a very effective uh, worm pattern. I use a similar pattern in Montana and I did very, very well with it. The hook that I have in the vise, this is a curved nymph hook, dry fly curved nymph hook. This is a size 10, it's the H. 118 from Hemingway really nice hooks before I start with the thread I'm going to put some 20 thousandths lead free wire on there and I'm gonna put that start that right about at the point 7 8 9 10 11 12 13. I'll give it about 15 wraps and take that off and I'm going to use my nail clippers on the back section just works so much easier I'm going to use red thread this is a red worm I'm going to use a red thread this is actually a paler yet red start it behind the eye and we're going to I push that up there just a little bit we want about two to two and a half to three eye lengths behind the eye with the lead and this is three aught mono cord that I'm using and we're gonna bring that thread back let it to where it would hang had I not crimped the barb down now I'm going to use cat gut bio thread and this is a red color and in the size large and you need to soak these before you use them here is one that's not soaked this is actually a cinnamon color but you can see how stiff that is and you can't very well tie that on or wrap that very well so what you do is soak it in warm water for about 10 minutes and then here I have the bowl right here in front of me and you can see how limp it is now. Now basically just take the excess water off it. I'm going to cut a little bit of an angle on it. can't really see it that great I'm gonna tie it in and I want that tag to go right up to the lead wraps there I'm gonna tie that in tight back that off a little bit bring that to the side at least Get that right to those lead wraps and you may have to put a few extra wraps in there so that you don't have a step in the uh, between the cat gut and the lead wraps and I'm going to this is mono cord so this is heavy stuff so I'm going to go ahead and spin my thread counterclockwise to help flatten it out and by doing that you're going to cover more of the lead wraps quicker and my balls in the way I don't think that it's going the lead is going to show through but just in case you get that nice coating on there on the front you just you don't want to make too big of a ramp there we're gonna take our cat gut it's a really easy pattern we're just going to wrap this watch that first wrap because you can see how it wants to roll to the back there 
let's see we'll let it roll the first one and then we'll there we go if you pull hard on it you can flatten it out but you kind of want to get those ribs in there so you don't want to pull too hard you don't want to flatten it out you want to keep those ribs and like I said this is a very easy uh, fly to make and we're basically done I'm just going to secure this put a few wraps in back and then put some in front and get those wraps right up to it and touching it go ahead and trim this off trim that off nice and close take the re remainder and put that back in the water and now you just tie a head I'm going back on it a little bit there and we can take our whip finish and whip finish that go ahead and remove the excess now that's not going to roll that's going to it's actually when it dries it's going to get even tighter on there I'm going to put a little bit of head cement on the threads you don't have to put a lot if you if you want to put multiple coats on there so you can have a shiny head all the time you could go ahead and do that But that's it. This was, was a very effective pattern for me in uh, Montana when I was up there in the Madison River. And I was out there. So I hope that you learned something from this video. I hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.